Ever felt like you're the only one who knows the right answer, the right method, the right direction? And everyone else around you looks at you like you have two heads? Well, join the club. I get that all the time. For the record, I still think I'm right. But the lesson learned over the years is maybe not in every case. There is an absolute correct opinion, just different ones. We seem to see the highlighted intolerance in others' opinions expressed every single day by politicians. It's odd that every single party thinks that they are right when you and I out here know absolutely with certainty that none of them have ever got it right. Sort of smells like maybe if they'd put their heads together, the right answer would emerge. However, we see this played out in real life every single day in the complete lack of regard for anyone else's opinion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are entering into a decade of dramatic shifts in the demographics of business and society. I know we keep calling them those millennials, but what they really are is the very first generation that believes they belong to the global community first, and secondly, to their own community. A whole bunch of them can see themselves living and working in another country. This is why John Zogby calls them the first globals. Their opinion is important. Their opinion may not be shaped by common sense just yet, but nonetheless, we need to respect them and include them in the decision-making process. You see, this group also places workplace happiness as number one, so if they feel they are not respected and that their opinion isn't heard, well, they may leave. And sometimes that will be okay, but maybe it will be a disaster as well because when one leaves, will others follow? You see, folks, a good leader shapes the input from his or her team. A good leader values all the input. A good leader respects everyone and certainly their opinions. So practice with me. The next time your kids say something stupid, instead of looking at them like they have two heads, instead of telling them that they haven't got a clue, and instead of beating down their opinion, find out why they said it. What did they mean by it? And what might they have said instead of that? doesn't just work on kids, that's your practice zone. Folks, you got to respect what others say, even when it's out in left field. Hey, what you might find is your decisions end up being right, because you are so lucky to have a great left fielder, and you'll be playing like a team. Too bad we can't get the floundering politicians to understand that playing as a team creates winners. Too bad the job doesn't come with the same performance criteria as a baseball team does. None of them would even make the team. Don't you follow their lead. Follow your own lead. Listen to your people. I'm Greg DeRocher, and that's a moment for business.